Big developments in the war for your smartphone loyalty. On the same day that the makers of BlackBerry took a massive blow to their bottom line, Apple released two new iPhones and a new operating system, although we did find one little guy who is not a fan of the software upgrade. Check it out. What's different? Everything. <laughs> Well, you're just going to have to get used to it. No, I want it. That was my reaction when Ginger told me this is the last weekend of summer. Uh, not everybody is complaining, though. Lines out the door at Apple stores across America. And ABC's Lindsay Janis is here with the story. A lot happening on the smartphone front. A lot front. happening. And this is a really important weekend. This launch weekend, so important to Apple because investors say it's got to prove that it can keep churning out sales of the iPhone even when upgrades are relatively small like this time. They say the competition is catching up, stealing more and more market share from Apple. The frantic rush to own the latest iPhone came with all the trappings. Sleeping in the streets, screaming fans. While past iPhone frenzies have been fueled by futuristic add-ons like FaceTime and Siri. Nice weather coming up today through this Tuesday. Friday's most popular new feature, the limited edition gold case. And while most fans didn't strike gold. I didn't get a gold one. No, they didn't have lighter gold. They're out of everything. I want the gold one, you know I mean? Other lucky line standers got a silver lining. <laughs> Free donuts, hand delivered by Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak. Or a surprise meet and greet with Apple CEO Tim Cook. Hey guys. At this California store, anticipation turning explosive. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. One man so upset he even ran into a moving truck. Oh. Now the big question, how long can this annual ritual of iPhone madness go on? Investors say there's more riding on this weekend's launch than ever before. That's because Apple's shares have lost a third of their value since the last iPhone launch a year ago. One of the main reasons, fierce competition. There are tons of Android phone makers, and that's building steam. Lots more Android phones out there now than iPhones because so many companies make them. Samsung, Motorola, Sony. And one of those competitors, BlackBerry, announcing on Friday it's laying off 40% of its global workforce and expects to lose nearly a billion dollars in just one quarter. Well, the news from BlackBerry caused such a sharp drop drop in its share price, that its shares had to be halted in trading temporarily. Guys, I have to tell you that everybody I spoke to yesterday outside the Apple store was looking for one of these gold phones. And there weren't very many. They were only giving out a couple of dozen at each store. So that's another concern of investors. Is there a supply issue? Why? You know, did they do this to create hype? Or are there just not enough of these gold phones? Can they not make them fast enough? Yeah, the gold phones are big, I hear, abroad as well. It's the only visible sign that you have the new phone, if it's yeah. gold. Hmm. Status symbol. Uh, I just see the BlackBerry, though, for the keys. I'm all about my BlackBerry. Yeah. All right, Lindsay, thank you.